So today we're going to set up Cisco Secure Endpoint in Meraki Systems Manager. This will allow Systems Manager to deploy the configuration and client to both iOS and Mac devices. The first place we're going to start, however, is in Organization and Settings. And down at the bottom, we're going to ensure that we have Dashboard API access enabled. What we can then do is go to Profile. We will scroll down and we will be able to get a new API key. We will copy this, click I have stored and click Done. Store the API key in a text file just for the moment. So now there's two more steps that we need to do in the Meraki dashboard. We're going to go to Systems Manager and Apps. Now, by default, we have the Meraki Systems Manager application in here. And we're going to be using Apple's Volume Purchase Program to ensure that any applications are correctly licensed. I've got the Cisco Security Connector already set up in VPP. So I'm going to go to Import and Licensed iOS Apps. I'm going to select my VPP account. And as you can see down towards the bottom, I've got the Cisco Security Connector application here. Ensure that we've got VPP device assignment and you can choose whether or not to have auto install and uninstall checked. So let's click the import button and click save. We're now going to go to systems manager and settings and we need to create an empty profile. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. We'll give it a name such as iOS secure and point and we will click save. From here we're now going to go over to our secure endpoint dashboard. I've got this set up in SecureX which gives me access to all of my dashboards as you can see. So let's go down to secure endpoint. So the first thing that we need to do is set up the link between secure endpoint dashboard and the Meraki dashboard. We'll go to Accounts, Organization Settings. We're going to copy the API key that we created earlier. And we're going to go to Mobile Device Manager and click MDM Integration. I can paste in the API key. I can choose an email address just in case anything goes wrong. And I can click Save. As you can see now, we've got on Meraki in here, which is great. Next step is to ensure that we can now configure Systems Manager with the right information. We're going to go to Management and click Deploy Clarity for iOS. We'll choose Protect, although whichever one of these that you choose is completely up to you. As you can see, We've got the organizations automatically populated because we gave the secure endpoint dashboard the API key. So let's click my organization name. We'll choose Alpha Devices, which is my systems manager network. And as you can see, it's automatically gone off to get the profile that we created earlier. So let's click iOS secure endpoint and click update. This has successfully updated the Meraki dashboard, which we can now check. So let's go back over to our Meraki dashboard. And let's refresh this page. And you'll see now there's a new icon that's appeared here in our secure endpoint profile. We can click this and you'll see that all of this information has been automatically added. As you can see, the policy name is protect and secure endpoint is going to ensure that your device is protected. Let's move now on to how we deploy this to a Mac. So now we're going to go up to management and we're going to go to download connector. Now obviously you can see lots of different OS platforms here. I'm going to click protect and there's two things that we can do here. We can either use the URL 
to download the connector or we can just download the client, which I'm going to do. We're now going to head on back over to the Systems Manager dashboard. We're going to click Systems Manager and Apps. We're going to click Add App. It's going to be Mac OS and it's going to be a custom app. We'll click Next. We'll give this a name such as Cisco Security Connector and you can add in lots of different information here if you wish. We're going to upload to the Meraki Cloud and we're just going to drag the DMG that we downloaded earlier. We can now choose some of the options as you can see here and then we can click Save. So now we've deployed the Cisco Security Connector to both iOS and Mac devices. Thank you.